George Groves has been made the mandatory challenger for Carl Frotch's IBF super middleweight title, which means we could see these two fighters squaring off later on this year. And according to Eddie Hearn, who is the promoter of both fighters, he's been given until the 17th of July to decide what he's going to do with these two fighters because the IBF has ordered them to fight. And if no decision has been made by July 17th, then the IBF will order purse bids for the fight to take place. All right. Now, Eddie Hearn, I've seen the interview of Eddie Hearn and he said that he said that both fighters are exploring different options. All right. The fight may well take place, but they're exploring all their options first before they you know, decide whether or not they want to take the fight. And the options for Carl Frotch are, well, there's only one option for Frotch, vacate the title. He, well, two options. He either vacates the title or he fights Groves. There's, not, there's nothing else on the table for Frotch. Uh, Groves, he could move up in weight. He could move down in weight. Um, actually, not down. He's a he's pretty big super middleweight, but he could move up in weight. He could choose to fight for a different, uh, different belt if he can get a title shot for a different belt. I heard a rumor that he was also mandatory for the WBC version of the title, which Saki Obika holds. So if he can secure a fight with Saki Obika, that could be another way to go. You know, although again it's risky because who would you rather lose to? Would you rather lose to Saki Obika or would you rather lose to Carl Frotch? I'm not saying that George Groves would lose to any of them, but what I am saying is it's a risk reward type of situation. If you take on Saki Obika and lose, it looks a lot worse than taking on Carl Frotch and losing. And Beaker's a beast, don't get it twisted, but he is not held in very high regard in the world of boxing, even though he's a very tough man, incredibly strong physically, and he's a handful for anyone. All right, but you know the the the, the boxing public high, holds Carl Frotch, and rightly so. They hold Carl Frotch in much higher regard than um than Saki Obika, you know, based on the wins that Carl Frotch has had. So, you know, if Groves loses to Frotch, it's like okay, maybe it came too soon for him. This, that, and the other. He can come back. He can bounce back. If he loses to Saki Obika, do you get what I'm saying to you? So it might be worth the gamble of just taking on a Carl Frotch right now. I don't mind seeing the fight. I think it's a good fight. You get what I'm saying? A lot of people believe that Frotch would blow Groves out. I'm not so sure about that, man. I'd like to see it. I'd like to see the fight. Um, A couple fights ago, I would have agreed. I would have said, yeah, I think Frotch will blow him out. But I think Groves has really come along. He's really improving a lot. And I don't mind seeing that fight at all, man. I don't mind seeing that fight at all. Frotch against Groves. Um, But yeah, those are the options. Either Frotch vacates or he fights Groves. And Groves... Could either fight for another title, possibly against Saki or Bika. Um, move up in weight, maybe. Or he can fight Frotch. Let's just wait and see. All will be revealed by July 17th. We'll know for sure, one way or another, exactly what's going to happen. Um, also, check out my video that I'm going to be posting pr- shortly after this video. Which is about Carl Frotch and Adonis Stevenson. Is Carl Frotch ducking Adonis Stevenson? I'm doing a video about that, which will be up very shortly, so make sure you stay tuned for that one. So, as far as this fight goes, Carl Frotch and George Groves, do you think it will happen? What do you think is the sensible option and the best option for both fighters? And if these, this, if these two fighters do end up fighting each other, who do you think would win? Please leave your comments below. Let me know why you feel what you feel. This is Hatman. I'm out.